Today I'm going to read to you a short poem by Shel Silverstein titled Morgan's Curse. And as I read the poem, I want you to think about the different layers of setting. Who is closest or what would be closest to the character during the poem? Where would be the, that would be the micro setting? Think about the meso setting. What would be the intermediate area that encompasses the character? And then what is the macro setting? What is the larger setting that encompasses everything? So here we go. Morgan's Curse by Shel Silverstein. Following the trail on the old treasure map, I came to the spot that said, dig right here. And four feet down, my spade struck wood just where the map said the chest would appear. But carved in the side were written these words, A curse upon he who disturbs this gold, signed Morgan the Pirate, Scourge of the Seas. I read these words and my blood ran cold. So here I set upon untold wealth, trying to figure out which is worse. How much do I need this gold? And how much do I need this curse? So think about this character. Do you think the character is with anybody? Is the character by themselves? Where is this chest that, they, that this character has been digging for? Where would be the wider vicinity in which the character finds him or herself? And I want you to think about what comes with these different layers. If he's digging by himself, chances are it's because he doesn't want other people to know where the gold is. If she is digging for gold in a chest buried by Morgan the pirate, where would that be located? And how would that impact the character? And then the last one is think about the wider world in which this chest and this character or find themselves. When you get done with that, I have two questions down below. What do you think is the theme or the meaning behind this poem? I know it's a children's poem, but there is a meaning there. What do you think it is? And tell me why you think it is so. And give me some evidence from the text or even from your own experience that you can make a connection with the text. Remember, the theme is the lesson that the author wants the reader to understand. What is the message behind this short little poem? And how does each layer of setting of this poem contribute to the theme or the meaning? Explain what you read from the poem or your own background knowledge that helps you make these connections. Think about the micro setting if the character is digging by themselves. Think about the mezzo. Think about which is the intermediate area and think about the wider world that encompasses where this chest would be and how is that contributing to the meaning of the poem. I'll be very interested in seeing your results. Don't forget that once you are done with this, you need to upload. I'm going to read the poem one more time just to help you along with it. So the title again is Morgan's Curse. Following the trail on the old treasure map, I came to the spot that said, dig right Four feet down, my spade struck wood, just where the map said the chest would appear. But carved in the side were written these words, A curse upon he who disturbs this gold, signed Morgan the Pirate, Scourge of the Seas. I read these words and my blood ran cold. So here I set upon untold wealth, trying to figure which is worse. How much do I need this gold? And how much do I need this curse? Thanks for listening. Don't forget, email me if you have any questions. Have fun.